Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited. I've got a big haul of Elvis stuff today. A bit of background. A friend of mine, or my best friend at school actually, was a rabid Elvis fan like me, and she died a few years ago and left behind a huge pile of Elvis stuff. So I asked her husband what he was going to do with it, and he said, oh, you know, he didn't want it, so I could have it. And as it turned out, her daughter wanted some too. So we got together today and um, went through everything, and I come back with quite a haul. <laughs> she was very generous. She allowed me to take what I wanted, and I had stuff that I, there was stuff there that I already had. So she, she went away happy too. So I'll go through it. First of all, there was four CDs. The 50, the 50 Greatest Love Songs from Elvis Presley Boulevard, Memphis, Tennessee. Um, Elvis More Romantics. I've got the original Elvis Romantics CD, which is absolutely one of my favourites. I just adore it. It's beautiful. So I was really happy to get that. And this one's an unusual one. Um, 50 Australian Top 10 Hits. And the funny thing about it is my ex-husband Wayne Hawthorne was one of the two people that produced this back in, uh, well it doesn't say when, but it was quite a few years ago now, so it's just got his 50 top 10 hit, uh, 50, 50 top hits in Australia, 50 Australian top 10 hits between 1956 and 1977. So I mean I've probably got all the tracks anyway, but it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Then I've got four DVDs, Love Me Tender, Clambake. This is one I haven't heard of. Um, it's a double e, double DVD. Elvis, da, 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 da. Rare Moments with the King and Elvis, King of Entertainment. And this one, I'm absolutely thrilled that Charmaine had this left over. The rehearsal from the Aloha concert. I recently got the the Aloha concert, the tape of, that was actually um, transmitted, but I didn't have the rehearsal tape. And she had it, so I've got it. Wonderful. Please, thrill the bits. Okay, um, this is a funny thing. This is, I thought at first it was an LP cover, and I thought it looks a bit different, but it was not. It was actually a calendar that was brought out in 2007, um, a special edition collector's calendar. And on the back it shows what it would have been like in the shape of a gold record, and you open it up and it calendar. So I don't know where the calendar's gone. Maybe um, Colleen, my girlfriend's daughter, might find it when she's looking around. But um, yeah, that's really interesting. Oops, sorry about that. We want the camera fly. And then there was Elvis calendars. She was like me. She had the calendars and then she um, she kept them for future reference, I suppose. So I've got, oops. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but yeah. So yeah. And what I'm going to do is do what I do with a lot of calendars, not just Elvis, bite calendars, chook calendars, cat calendars. I'm going to cut them up and laminate them and make placemats or things to hang on walls, laminated pictures to hang on walls. So there's three of those there and there could be more when um, Colleen, my girlfriend's daughter, Starts looking through the rest of the stuff in the house. There's a lot of stuff because Charmaine died a few years ago and her husband, my friend Frank, um, you know, he's been pretty cut up losing his wife after 25 years and he's getting older, he's got Parkinson's disease and he just hasn't got the inclination or the energy to tidy up the house, which is sad. Um, but anyway, we're, we're, I suppose in a way we're helping him by going through all the records. I was so pleased to get this off I mean, I've, I've got most of the... I've probably got most of the tunes, or the, uh, the songs on uh, more recent CVDs and cassettes and DVDs, but to have the first LP, oh, I'm so thrilled. I, I said to Colleen, do you want that? And she said, no, you can have it. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. And Char was like me. She kept all the records in really immaculate condition, so they're all in great condition. And the second one. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> love that. Um, I'm hoping that some of the YouTube guys that I follow will see this because um, there's two or three in particular the collectors that collect are particularly interested in LPs and a record, or the vinyl anyway, um, and the covers and where they come from in different countries. Now what I'm showing you is Australian, but Shah, my girlfriend, did have some American ones. So as we go through, I'll tell you which are which. Those first two are the Australian version. This is Australian. Oh, 
I don't know whether you want to see the records themselves. They're pretty plain, just a plain RCA black label. Now this one, I don't know where Shai got this. is um, American from Elvis and Memphis. She had a couple of trips to America before she, long before she died. Um, so I think she might have actually bought them when she was over there and brought them home to Australia. So what's this one? Um, she's got the paper cover for the record. The orange label. I don't really get too excited about the colours of the labels and um, so on. I know I know some of the guy the collectors the do, so that's why I'm actually going through these and showing you what the, the labels. Now this one, yes, this one's an American one, uh, February 1970 on stage. And it's another orange label, RCA Victor. Again. This is an American one, I think. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Aloha from Hawaii. That's a fold out, unlike that. And it's got the oh, thing on inside. And the two records. Um, both of them have got the same paper cover. And they have uh, uh, a ready orange label, Quadra Disc RCA. So that's something a bit different. Okay, there were two Christmas records there that she had, and I hummed and hard. Um, they were both Elvis Christmas albums. One's a Camden, and one was the other one. I thought, oh, look, damn it, I'll take the Camden one for no particular reason. I hope it's not too glary. It's got a plastic cover that I can't get, can't get it off. But anyway, uh, that's the back. And it's got a bluey green, oops, Camden label on it. Some of them say mono. But, um, some of them say stereo. <laughs> I wonder why. Oh, anyway, whatever. Okay. Um, this is another Camden one. This is Melbourne, or sorry, Sydney, Australia, Australia print. And let's be friends. That, that one was also Australian. So. Now this one's a bit different. This is American. Oh, think. Where are we? Oh no, no, manufactured in Sydney, Australia. Um, this is a bit beat up. I don't know where the hell she got this or why it's in such bad condition. Charmaine did not leave her records usually in this condition. Elvis in the 70s, 28 great songs. Um, let's, go, let's set the cover inside. And it's got a write-up. It's, it's two LPs, yeah. By an Australian from us, uh, Peter R. Peter L. Harding from RCA Australia. So um, it looks like it's an Australian pressing of some sort. Well, yes, it is RCA. It's not American, and it's sort of a bone brownie coloured label. In that one. Um, this one I never thought I'd see because I've never never heard of it until I saw it on YouTube. Elvis Sings for Children and Grown Ups too. This is uh, made in Sydney again, Australia. That opens up with the words. And it's got a bit about Colonel Parker there. Apparently this was his idea to make this or put this together. Um, that's again that goldy coloured label. Yeah, movies, okay. This is Australian King Creole LP. Uh, one of the old original black labels. GI Blues. Oh, Australian again. Black label. Girls, girls, girls. Australian version, Black Label, it happened at the World's Fair, Oops. I've got to tell you, these 
uh, not big. When I left my first husband, I left all my records behind. So over the years, I've been gradually trying to build up my collection again. And I've got to tell you that some of these movie ones, I wouldn't have even bothered buying. I'd buy the movies, but I couldn't be bothered buying the LPs because I probably wouldn't listen to them. But because they were freely available, I thought I might as well take them home. <laughs> the World's Fair. <laughs> Black label. So, I mean, I will play them now that I've got them, but probably not. Not the movie ones as much as I will some of the other ones. Um, Fun in Acapulco, Australian, Black Label. Now, this is an RCA Victor one, American. Kissing Cousins. This is the um, paper insert, the RCA Victor record. That was the difference between the Australian ones and the American ones. As, as the Australian records just called them RCA, whereas the Americans, RCA Victor. So we knew straight away which ones are which when they got out here. Um, Roused about, oops, Australian. This one's got a, a gold coloured... Um, oh, no, isn't that interesting? It says on the label, RCA AARM Gold Record Award Certified Roused about. Ah, so some records apparently had this gold label because they How would they know to print a gold label before it... Well, whatever. Anyway, interesting. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, then we have um, another Australian one. Girl Happy. And a plain black label. Ooh, naughty Shah, she's lost the plastic in the suit, am I? Okay. Harem Scarman. Harem Scarum. Harem Scarum. Australian. Again. And this one had a black label and it had a photo. A photo of Elvis with a list of his records on the back. Okay, back to an American one. Paradise of Wine Style. Again, I hope it's not glare, too glary, but I've got a plastic cover on it that won't come off, so that's uh, the back. Um, no photo, just that um, paper cover again. And the RCA Victor label. Change it around later. Okay, spin out. Another American one, RCA Victor. That's got a free photo in it. That's got a nice, well, it's okay. Photo of Elvis with the uh, paper and plastic sleeves for the record. Australian Double Trouble. Going to the old black label again. Clam Bake. Australian version. Black label. Oh, it's got a photo in it. Where are we? Oh, wedding photo. It, um, it comes on the front of the cover. It says, it's in the, it says on the front of the cover, special bonus, full colour photo of Elvis and Priscilla, specially autographed. Thanks for everything from both of us, Elvis and Priscilla. Gosh, look back 50 years ago, eh? What happened? Anyway, I won't go there. Um, finally, um, Speedway. Again, Australian one. Cover. Black label. Now, they're the Elvis LPs. Then she had a lot of other LPs, a lot of country and western stuff like but a few different ones that really grabbed me. This one, I couldn't resist. Pat Boone sings Guess Who. This is an Australian one. I love Elvis tribute albums by other artists. There was some. Um, Oh, French singer Johnny. No, maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, well, the, the Johnny Man Singers, Floyd Kramer, I think, played a tribute. Um, yeah, there was. There's quite a few other people who did um, tributes to Elvis on on LP records many years ago. So um, I'm, I'm looking forward to listening to that. Don't mind Pat Byrne, and he, he was apparently a pretty good friend of Elvis's. Uh, and then I found this one, the Jordanaires. This land, wow, I mean, what a find. This land is your land, all my trials, little moments, didn't it rain, Michael, 
much bigger than I, let me ride, promised land, hands of God, and so on. Uh, this was brought out in June 17th, 1964. And uh, let me see, well, I'm not quite sure whether that's produced in Australia. So CBS, anyway, it's not even RCA, it's CBS. So it probably is Australian. Australian cop, Australian copy of it. Uh, now this one's different. I'm not a Joe Cocker fan in particular. I don't really know much about him, but I picked this up because one of the tracks is "One Night of Sin," and I think that's the original version of "One Night," which had to be cleaned up for Elvis to sing, <laughs> you know, for the goodies for the um, people back in the fifties. And he also sings on this fever, so I'm interested to hear his version of fever. Now, this is something I probably wouldn't have bought, but it was free, so I got it. I'll be interested to play it. Oh, and then this won't probably mean much to most of it. Johnny O'Keefe is a very early Australian rock and roll singer. Another one, oh, Johnny O'Keefe. So, that was my stash, and I am thrilled to bits, and I'm looking forward to playing them all. Now, I have got a whole lot more books since I last did video. Um, have I got any more... DVDs or CDs? No, I don't think so. Anyway, that's it for now for the old piece. I hope that's alright. I'm going to have a look at it and if it's not, I'll scrub it and start again. Bye for now.